Hey church family, I hope you're doing well. I just wanna take a few minutes in this video to give you an update on my leave of absence. First of all, let me begin by saying thank you. Thank you again for your prayers, uh, for your many expressions of love over the past several months. The Lord has used so many of you to encourage me and to build me up in ways that only the Lord would really know that I needed. And so I wanna thank you again for that. I'm only gonna take a, a couple of minutes in this video, but I wanna update you in two main categories, life and ministry. As I shared with you the last time, this past summer and now into the fall has been an unusual time to say the least. Aside from all of the ways that the world has really changed around us, uh, I was battling with my own difficulties in, in my life. And we have some labels that we often attach to these things to help us identify them and, and even to understand them a little bit better. And sometimes those labels can be helpful. In my case, I was fighting against things like depression, fear, um, self-pity, and trust me, man, if we had more time, the list just goes on and on and on. But the reality is those things are just external expressions. They're just the things that we see on the outside and, and all of those things really to some degree are symptomatic of deeper problems on the inside. And so uh, these past few months, you could say, has been something of a renovation of my heart. And uh, in some cases, it's been patching up some things that have been broken down. In other cases, it has been a total demolition project and tearing things down and then completely rebuilding from the ground up. And I am so thankful that I can sit here right now and tell you that the Lord has been repairing and rebuilding parts of my heart that can be explained in no other way except to say that the Lord has done this. And one of the results of that is that I am enjoying the kind of freedom in Christ that Christ died and rose again to give me, that Christ died and rose again to give you. That's what he gives us as we experience life in him. And so, uh, friends, I can't stress this enough. This is the work of God in my life. This is the work that God can do in your life as well. And, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't conquered these things that I just mentioned to you or, or many of the other things as well. I find myself still striving day by day by the power of the Spirit that is in me to put those things to death. But just like you, I am beholding the glory of the Lord and being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. And this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. This work of transformation, this work of renovation, renewal, rebuilding, all of these things that God's doing in me and that he's doing in you, this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit who lives within us and that is awesome. And so that's just a, a small, a sample of the work that God has been doing in my life over the past several weeks and months uh, for which I am very grateful and that then impacts the second category which is ministry. Um, after a lot of prayer and counsel and uh, discussion with our elders and, and even with others outside of our church who are far more wise than I am, uh, I have started to slowly re-engage into my role uh, in our church. So that means I'm back with the staff now, and uh, Lord willing, um, I get to serve with our elders in leading part of our prayer meeting this coming Wednesday. Uh, and also, Lord willing, like all of this is Lord willing. Uh, but again, Lord willing, um, I get to preach again on October 25th, and I am extremely grateful to the Lord uh, for that opportunity. I won't be preaching every weekend right away, um, I think one of the blessings that we've experienced through this season as a church is, uh, is the blessing that God has given us of Pastor Kyle and Pastor Matt leading us into the Word. I've been blessed by that. I'm, I'm sure you have been as well. I hope you've been encouraged by that. Um, and so I'll be preaching a handful of times between now and Christmas and sharing that load with Kyle and Matt along the way. And then again, Lord willing, we'll hit something of a uh, something closer to a new rhythm by the time we get to the new year and uh, looking forward to that. You know, there's so much more that could be said. Uh, so much more that, that I could tell you of the work that the Lord has done in my life. But I'm trusting that God is going to give us the opportunity to talk about those things in His time and in His way. 
I think one of the things that we've learned over the past several months is that uh, the time that we now have again together on a Sunday morning or in a prayer meeting, that time is very precious. It's limited, it's different, and I don't wanna do anything at all to take away from where the focus needs to be in those times that we experience together. Our elders don't wanna take away anything from that either. And so I hope that this video has been helpful uh, just to give you a bit of an update as to where things are. Uh, but more than anything, my heart in this, loved ones, is more than anything that you would be directed to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is good, he is faithful, he is awesome. He can do this work of renovation and renewal that he's doing in my life, he can do it in your life as well. He's got a lot more work to do in me as he does in you, and, and I look forward to that uh, as well. Stacy and the kids are doing well, and on their behalf, I just want to thank you again for your prayers and your encouragement and your love uh, for our family. And if I can, just as I wrap this up, uh, I want to encourage you to pray for your pastors, not just for me, uh, but pray for our staff, pray for our elders, uh, pray for the pastors in our city, pray for other pastors that you know who are faithfully upholding the word of God. Loved ones, the battle is real, but God is faithful and he will do the work that he has promised to do in every one of us. Pray again that our joy and the delight of our hearts would be found only in him. We'll see you again really soon. You are loved.